Hello, friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here. Hello. Wrapping up our lettering unit for January with this, um, with a couple of two, two for the price of one, wonderful projects inspired by the artist Marion Banshees. Um, so we looked at how Marion Banshees, um, how she liked to arrange words and letters and how sometimes she liked to take hearts and make different hearts for different people to give to them and how she thought about how she made each heart special and unique for the person. Um, but for this video, um, we're just going to talk about two other ideas for making art and you have two choices here. And the first choice is kind of, it was inspired by her, um, by her work with flower petals and how she used the flower petals and arranged the flower petals in unique ways um, to make letters. And then she you can make use of put the letters together to make um, to make a word to make her art and so that's the first challenge I want to give you today um, you know there are a couple of different ways to do this um, so you can find something that you have a lot of or something that you can find a lot of outside like maybe you went outside and you found a whole bunch of leaves and you wanted to arrange the leaves to spell the word leaf or to spell something else um, or uh, like I have a lot of crayons in the art room. So I arranged my crayons to make the word art. And then what you can do is you can, to make it into your art, um, you could glue it on there, I guess, if you were using something like from outside, like leaves, if you want, you could glue it onto the paper, but I don't want to glue the crayons onto the paper. Um, and I might want to make my letters a little bit longer here. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I think that's better. That letter T a little bit longer. Um, so then you could grab your phone or a camera and you can take a picture. Can you see me taking a picture? I'm taking a picture of the word. And then I have that picture on my phone and you can edit it. You could make it black and white if you wanted to. That's kind of cool. Now my, I have a little bit of a shadow in there. I can get rid of that um, by editing on my phone. I can make the exposure brighter. Oh, that's kind of fun. I can change the brilliance. I can get rid of that shadow by adding, by changing the highlights. You can also do that with shadows too. You can make the shadows darker. I can add contrast to it. Now I'm kind of losing that yellow right there. So maybe I don't want it to be, maybe I want it to be vivid and cool. That's kind of good. And I can, you know, now I could go in and I could increase, um, my saturation, make it brighter. Um, so that's one way you can make art this week by arranging things that you have a lot of um, and taking a picture of it. I love that. I can't wait to put that somewhere. Put that on my Schoology page or something. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can find, uh, and I did this last year as a challenge for people, um, on Twitter, you can find letters or objects in your house that look like things. So a pair of scissors, if you open them up, might look like a letter X. And you could, um, or let's see, I'm trying to think of something else, or this top might look like a letter O. Um, and so you could arrange that on a piece of paper. Now, I probably wouldn't want to use, I might use a different color paper for this. Um, but you know how people have, you know, XO, it's like a, a hug and a kiss. Um, you could do something like that. Um, the last thing I want to talk with you about, uh, this is your second option, is to turn your letters into different drawings. 
And this is really getting into the art of lettering. So here's my example. This is my first name. My first name is Nicole. Remember, I've said you can know that. You just can't call me Nicole. You have to call me Mrs. Gordon. Um, but I took each of the letters in my name and I tried to make it into something that I'm interested in. So I love art. So I have a pencil and a couple crayons and a Sharpie. I love to paint. So I have a paintbrush and a palette. I like to um, cook eggs for my family on the weekend. My daughters don't like eggs anymore, but my husband still appreciates um, when I cook eggs on the weekend. I usually make them an omelet. Um, I turn my L into a um, my leg, and we have a dog named Maya, and so I put a leash and I put a little dog bone in there. So let's talk about how I would do something like this. So many good options this week. Um, Let's say I take the word, uh, let's see, love. A little flashback to Robert, Indiana, which you learned about earlier this month. So I'm just gonna lightly write, I'll lightly write the letters. And you could have them lined up like this. You can have them staggered, like maybe I want them to be in a different place. And then I can turn each of these into something that I love. All right. So thinking on my feet here, friends, let's see how it goes. Um, one thing I was thinking of is that the letter L can sometimes look like a, like a sock. So I'm going to turn this into the shape of a sock. And I love getting cozy with some warm socks on a cold winter's day. Love me a good pair of cozy socks. I also love it when they have little patterns on them. So I might make little patterns on my socks. Maybe some little shapes. Kind of looks like a stocking not a stocking. So I love cozy socks. So there's my letter L. Um, for my O, maybe I want to turn it into thinking about being cozy. I love um, a good cup of tea. So maybe this is like the top of the cup and I can see the bottom of the cup here. And well, maybe I can't see the bottom of the cup. Maybe I can see the liquid in the cup. And if I made, and then maybe the handle over here. So I'm just looking at the top of the handle and then maybe like a saucer for the cup. And you're like, well, I don't really know that that looks like a cup to me, Mrs. Gordon. If I added some marshmallows in it, it might look like a cup. Or if I added a little tea bag and maybe a teaspoon. So maybe I add a little tea bag floating in there. And I have the little string going up over here. And if I add a little spoon down here, then you know it's a cup of tea. Or if that, you know, you don't, that's a little bit, oh, I'm not loving how that looks. And sometimes that happens. Maybe what I can do for the idea of a cup is I can make kind of a roundish cup of tea from the side. So maybe I make oval for the top and that's looking a little bit more cup-like, a little bit more cozy. Um, but now this is, I'm starting to lose that O there. So maybe I put a little whipped cream on top to make it a little more shaped like the O. All maybe with some little chocolate shavings on it. That looks delicious and yummy. And I wish I had it right now. Um, maybe for the V, now I'm kind of, oh, I know. What's more cozy? I was originally going to do ice cream, but that kind of wasn't going with my cozy theme. Then a good old piece of pizza. Turn that V into a piece of cheesy pizza. My favorite kind of pizza. I don't like, like the cheese dripping off of it. Feels messy to me. Um, but my husband and I get this uh, cauliflower pizza from Costco, and I just love it. Because I don't eat bread anymore. It's kind of a bummer for pizza because I miss pizza. But then I get to enjoy the cauliflower pizza and I get to feel like it 
eating pizza still. Uh, the E can be tricky. Remember for the E on this one, I did like a leash and a dog bone because it's hard to find things that are shaped like E's. I mean, a V is kind of easy because there's so many things like ice cream cones are shaped like a V. Um, but maybe, you know, maybe it's a great scarf. All right, I kind of go with my cozy theme. And then I turn it into kind of the shape of a scarf. Now you're like, Mrs. Gordon, that doesn't look like a scarf. I got you, friends. I'm going to make it look like a scarf. It looks like a folded piece of fabric right now. But do this. You add little dots on the ends. And add little tassels. And there you've got a scarf. If you add stripes or something, that's going to make it even look more uh, scarf-like. So I love being cozy on a cold winter's day uh, with my good socks and my cup of cocoa and my piece of pizza cauliflower crust and my <laughs> scarf cozied up with. Um, or things that I love as my name, uh, art stuff and cooking and walking outside, walking the dog. Um, whether or not you do uh, the first option where you're arranging objects, found objects in your home to make different letters and to spell different words, or whether you're taking your letters and turning your letters into something else to give us a message about you. I cannot wait to see what you do with this Marion Banshees inspired project for lettering, our last project for lettering. Happy art making, friends.